this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If you return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. the World. I'm Septum Sen. This is Kotobuki Jake. Hi. And we're here to show you what they got. It's been a while since we've been here together. Mm hmm. Live. Mm hmm. Ish. <laughs> it's still recorded, but it's recorded with us together. Now we're trying to get the lighting there. You can see the little hand effect as my hands kind of like slowed mm -hmm. it down. I'm gonna move a little bit closer. No, no earthquake. Oh. Yes, but we're we're kind of getting back into the the stream of it, mm -hmm. learning things because on Streamyard it's a little bit different. We both have our own lighting sources. I'm at the opposite side of the table. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So, any case, we got a lot coming out this week. So why don't you take a look at that beautiful. Blu-ray and DVD footage.
some good stuff well unless you're a Gundam fan that's true no Gundam <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a couple of things now we have our we have our chart system and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a snapshot of the finished chart when we're done and then that's going to be uh, up at the end uh, which will mimic our typical OBS capture <laughs> now the typical things, you know, priority, which is the highest one. We both have to agree on it, which is, you know, well, we, we do plan on getting it eventually. Uh, essentially, we're not going to let that bad boy go out of print. We're going to get it. It's going to be ours eventually. Uh, right? Yes, please. If it's going to go out of print, if it's not for the right price, we'll have to just let it go out of print. But... We wish list it, we would like to get it, and we would definitely want to track it down. Mm-hmm. Uh, There's a few of those going on in the Sentai sale, you know. True enough. Uh, curious, of course. Well, that you know that one. Curious. Then there's, um, meh. Well, you know, maybe a dollar. Maybe mm -hmm. a little less, like free. How about two cents? <laughs> but uh, we're not like gonna be breaking the bank for these at any time. We're not gonna be actively seeking any of these out, mm -hmm. and uh, but we're not gonna turn them away necessarily. And then finally, hell no, which we both have to agree on again. Well, well, that means hell. Yeah. A good example would probably be uh, the Hostel series for Jake. I'm sure that and we'll probably be talking about some of those in our vlogcast on Monday, which we're going to be hoping to get some de decent participation. Is that so? Mm. Yep. So we're going to start us off with some fun stuff, some Chinese animation, which is The Legend of Hey. Hey! <laughs> when Cat Spirit Lu Zhao his home is deforested by humans he must find a new one as you do mm -hmm. he runs into a group of other spirit creatures who take him under their wing with dreams of reconquering the land they say is rightfully theirs however they run into a human known as Wu Zhan who separates Lu Zhao Hey, Lu Zhao Hei from other spirits, and the two go on a journey with Lu Zhao learning to control his abilities as well as forming his own thoughts on whether or not he should ally with the spirits mm. or the humans. Mm. So, a cute little thing. Mm. My Shao Factory is, of course, distributing it. Mm. Uh, looks like a fun enough uh, movie here. Um, Certain Chinese animation is pretty mm -hmm. fun. Um, of course, y'all won't be able to see us putting these in here. But uh, what I'm going to be doing instead is I'm going to be uh, trying to put up a, a, a copy of the uh, thing like we used to. You know, an actual mm -hmm. picture. So you should be able to see it between us. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Where to put this one? Curious. <laughs> yeah, I could agree with that. I have... Uh... Mixed feelings about that description, but um, it sounds like it could be good. 
That's the thing. The, the, the other problem with having a Chinese uh, company making it is it could very well be an anti-environmentalist, pro-industrialist mm. uh, point of view. So mm. you never know. But uh, I would be curious mm. enough to see it. And yeah. you never know. It could be something positive. You never know. Because there is that deep spiritual connection. Right. What we got next? Seven Seeds, Part 2. <laughs> this is a Sentai release. We talked about Part 1 a few months back. This is Episodes 13 to 24, a.k.a. Part 2. Uh, I don't really... I think we gave a brief description before it. I haven't actually seen this, so I'm not going to bother trying to... Uh, describe it again it's a sentai release i'm interested i'll pick it up if it gets cheap enough so i'll say curious <laughs> yeah that sounds about right mm -hmm. i probably won't pick up part two first but definitely yeah probably part one <laughs> first uh let's see here so um mm -hmm. naruto set three mm -hmm. which it's covering episodes 56 through 82, mm -hmm. which uh, continues on the Chunin exam. Nice. Um, well, let's see here. Ah, so it comes towards the end of the Chunin exam, it looks right. like, because we are dealing with uh, the Gara Rampage. Mm -hmm. I do like that, you know, the first three uh, volumes is, is covering so much mm -hmm. uh, as we go. What are the, what's the episode count here? It is a fifty-six, yeah, through eighty-two, yeah. and I think it's gonna be. Uh, I think it's gonna be cool to have it if you haven't collected yeah. Naruto before. Mm -hmm. Like if I hadn't collected it, it would have been a priority mm -hmm. for me eventually. I would have been getting it. I, I wouldn't let it go out of print. Uh, mm -hmm. I would actually prefer the in that format. But uh, I've already collected the whole series, so I'm not. But it is probably gonna be my format. So for me, I guess it would be considered a priority because I would definitely get it i can't say i i can't say it would be anytime yeah. soon but i would definitely get it because i too already have this on dvd and the initial releases were nice they came oh, with yeah. little little comic book uh addendums and whatever i i have little desire to get rid of those sets but a more compact blu-ray set is compelling but this is a great series, at least it started as a great series, and it's a good series overall. Uh, the Chunin Exam section is a classic segment of mm -hmm. uh, Shonen anime. So, um, I would definitely say if you don't have this, it is a priority. It is a oh, yeah. must-get if you don't have it. And if you do have it, and you want to go with a more conveniently condensed version or a Blu-ray version. Yeah, I could say it's still a priority. Actually, Jeff, to me, the tune exam was really where the series opened up. Mm -hmm. I thought it... I mean, to me... I mean, the first part was fun. The bridge mm -hmm. saga was good. But right. I really think... I mean, I started to really dig Naruto after the Chunin. Well, I know that was my introduction because he showed me the Rock Lee Gara fight, and that was like the first episode I ever saw of Naruto. <laughs> so, so next up we have Babylon, which, from what I understand, I've never even heard of this before. But from what I understand, it looks like it's sort of like a corporate thriller espionage kind of show could be pretty bad but it could be pretty awesome <laughs> i haven't really heard one way or the other so i'm very curious this is one i will watch and if it goes down to 14 or 15 on sentai i'll i'll be tempted to get it yep. so i could go a strong curious if i was if i was like back to where i had barely anything and I was only collecting what I've seen first, I mm -hmm. would probably have a subscription to H Dive or High mm -hmm. Dive, sorry. And just just because I would want to see those and right. that would be a great way of doing it. But I, I don't do that unfortunately. <laughs> but if it's cheap enough I'd probably buy it sight unseen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of uh, stuff I've been buying sight unseen, <laughs> um, matter of fact, uh, this volume is on the way in the mail to me. So uh, This wasn't on the uh, list you gave me. 
Well, it is. It, it was just combined with the other oh. one. I was like, why would we need to cover one piece twice? Just cover it in one go. Oh, it's totally different versions of it. Yeah, I mean, this is the version I'm collecting. Yes, and, and I believe here. you're collecting yeah. on it. And uh, this is, uh, of course, episodes uh, 588 to 614, mm -hmm. which is volume 25. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even know where in the story this is. I haven't... Uh, I haven't been keeping up with this mm -hmm. for a while, but uh, it will be added. It's kind of good to see it up and running again mm -hmm. after like almost a year-long hiatus without any new episodes coming to us mm -hmm. on physical. Now, on this set, if you're collecting it, say, piecemeal, mm -hmm. <laughs> like this. One piecemeal. Uh, you can get episodes 642 to 654. And... I'll admit, I collected fairy tale in this format, but a series as long as One Piece, mm -hmm. I might as well be collecting the single volumes if I'm doing it that way, because mm -hmm. it's just, that's just too many. Uh, but if you really want to keep at it as it's coming out, mm -hmm. this is probably the closest way you're going to get to it. And, um, mm -hmm. but, uh, now with One Piece, I, it's... It's on my priority list. I just pre-ordered it. So, mm -hmm. and technically, though, I, this is not the format I get it in. I count it as the same because of the show. Where is the other one? Or did I even put... I don't think I put the other well, one that's on what I'm here. saying. It wasn't on the slideshow. Yeah. So, but we'll just have this represent. So, um, yeah, priority for me. Well, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to rate them separately because... Screw the Voyage 11, Season 11 version <laughs> of, you know, I want the Volume 25. Now, I have a very strict limit because the show is so freaking long and I just have a mixed, well, I want to have it. I feel like I need to have it. Mm. But I have so far had a very strict limit of $15 per volume, and I will not break that. <laughs> So I can't really put it a priority because I think that would involve breaking a limit if need be. So I'm going to have to right, say yes, yes please. please. But that is strictly the 25 volume. The oh, season yeah. 11, that's more of a meh. Well, it's just like how we've been doing it with Fairy Tale when volumes yeah. came out. It was just saying, well, this is not the one that you would be collecting. Right. You'd be collecting. Same thing for this. Right. It's, uh but if I was collecting One Piece mm -hmm. this way, it yeah. would rank the same for me. If, uh, so but if I will I <laughs> say that if you are an anime fan and you collect anime, you should have One Piece. Uh, we had in a little bit collection. of a snag on it, and uh, <laughs> uh, we realized that after the One Piece uh, bit, uh, the camera stopped working because technology. Because, yes. So we're going to run through a little bit more quickly because we're mm -hmm. running out of time now. But uh, we do have everything ranked, so uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll just uh, say what we... I don't even remember what we both ranked them, but we're going to say what it turned out at least. Right. And One Piece turned out to be a yes, please mm -hmm. at the end of the day. And uh, I'll let you go with uh, the, um, I guess, uh, Infinite stuffs right 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 so somewhat appropriately given our little snafu our next choice is about the perils of technology <laughs> <laughs> and funimation has a pretty gorgeous new release coming out for a series called infinite dendogram don't know it it's about mmos looks like sao light but it looks good. I will happily get it if the price is right. So we ended up ranking it curious. Indeed. <laughs> of course, uh, there's a Fast and the Furious Blu-ray. Fast and Furious is an essential series for many. Not mm -hmm. for me, but I understand how some might want to get it. And if you really love the series, you might want to collect it on Steelbook. It's a nice Steelbook. Mm -hmm. It is. So uh, Best Buy doing an exclusive Steelbook for that. I ranked it as a curious. I believe you had it as a yes, please. 
a borderline, but curious overall. <laughs> so still, you know, fairly essential series for many. And it's appropriate that that came up, because we're kind of doing the Fast and Furious version <laughs> of it now. <laughs> So, speaking of, we have a new Pixar multi-pack. Cars 1, Cars 2, and Cars 3. Some of the more imaginatively titled sequels there. Um, the Cars Pixar films are good to great, but not on the same level as some of their stuff. Yeah. But the, the first one is quite excellent and the third one is very good the second one is entertaining and this is a way to pick up all of them in a very nice little thin mm -hmm. pack uh if you don't have them yet you definitely should uh so we ended up marking these as yes please yeah yep uh then of course uh, a priority mm-hmm uh, the two Nemo movies because that finding mm -hmm. Finding Nemo is indeed a priority it should oh, yes. be in any collection uh, and Finding Dory is not a terrible one. Mm -hmm. uh, they are, of course, and, and of course, these collections are available pretty much any retailer except for Amazon. Hey, well, and uh, Bezos stole me more money. That's not too bad. I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I mean, I've got them on Steelbook, so I'm not going to be collecting them in this format. But mm -hmm. still, if you like those mm -hmm. movies, you should mm -hmm. check it out. Most check it indeed. Out. All right. Together. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Get it. Miss Kasuga. Miss Kasuga. Were you listening? Uh, no. <laughs> so next up we have a Bob Hope comedy from way back in the day called Bachelor in Paradise. Nominated for an Oscar for original song. I believe the song I believe was called Bachelor in Paradise. Never seen it middling desire to but being an oscar nominee i had to give it a yes please but i do believe we ultimately settled on curious for that one indeed i'm trying to finagle this thing to okay. where it looks a little bit easier and mm -hmm. we can see mm -hmm. i think only morgue is over there but uh let's uh go to king kong the uh 80s version of king kong with jeff bridges 70s, isn't it? Uh, no i think it's 87 87. I don't yeah, think it's, it's 87. 87. Let me see. I thought it said 76. I don't know. Let's see. Well, we'll see. We can find out right now. Uh -huh. King Kong. And uh, it is not that King Kong. Oh, okay, yes. 76. Yeah, You're right. Go. Stupid! You're so stupid! But yeah, Jeff Bridges' King Kong uh, mm -hmm. in between. Not quite as uh, rudimentary as, say, um current level uh king kong me um but still right up there you want it you better get it because it may be gone eventually it's got a lot of people wanting this thing i've already seen tons of people buying online mm. those shout factory collectors they believe this one's going to sell out mm -hmm. so you want it you might want to get it but just keep mm. an eye out. Usually they'll let you know if they're going to start selling out. So right. maybe you get it. <laughs> right. I still wasn't quick enough on Tank Girl. Hmm. But uh, I got it as a curious. <laughs> yeah, we curious for that. So Okay, let's... next up we have The Cool Lakes of Death. Dutch film. As I pointed out, I just love the title. I love the English title. And I love that the original title includes the word dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I know I know it probably means something <laughs> very different in Dutch, but <laughs> yeah. the uh, but it's it's it looks fun. Well it doesn't look fun, but it looks interesting. And uh, we decided to give that one a curious. <laughs> Definitely a cover that looks like a uh, criterion. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, so uh, Morg which oh, no, uh, you skipped a oh, big one. Oh yeah, the Mauritanian. Yeah, how'd you skip that? Uh, one like slightly Oscar's higher thing. rated uh, than Morg, uh, and uh, it is a pretty uh, good film. Not just mm -hmm. pretty good, an excellent film, mm -hmm. amazing acting. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like an acting nod should have gone their way. Mm -hmm. uh, it is sad that uh, 
Tahar Rahim got screwed. Yeah. Well, and uh, of course, who knows what 2021 will bring. But sadly, he won't be on the uh, right. competition board against whoever is up for right. 2021 slash 22, depending right. on what they're doing this year. Hmm. But we'll, we'll have to just wait and see. But I think it's going to be a good one. And we have it as a oh. yes, please, because it is right up there. And I think it's one that people should be getting. You know, I saw something today, though. There's already controversy about next year's awards season. That NBC has declared they mm -hmm. will not broadcast the Globes. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Yeah. And it's like, okay. <sighs> So, next up, we have Giants and Toys, an old Japanese film that looks kind of batshit, but awesome. It's getting an Arrow release. I want to see this. It looks fun. And uh, good on Arrow for putting out completely random Japanese stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I hope they continue doing so. And uh, I want to get this. <laughs> Yep, definitely a, a yes, please. I believe mm -hmm. we both agreed with on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Morgue, which we actually, uh, oddly enough, a horror that Jake put as a, a curious on his mind. But, of course, it's because it was Paraguayan, I believe, wasn't Par it? Yes, Paraguayan. I yeah. don't know. I could not swear to it that I've seen a Paraguayan film. And it's a haunted it's a haunted house type right. movie, and those are always up my alley. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it looks very interesting. Good times. All right, and then we have Land, the directorial debut of the Princess Bride herself, Robin Wright, and it stars Wright as a bereaved woman who goes into the wilderness and meets a hunter played by Demi Bashir. I want to see this. I kind of don't expect it to be <laughs> my favorite film I've ever seen. But I very much want to see this. We did end up giving it a curious overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Saw is getting a 4K. If you like Saw, you will definitely want to get this, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. If you're an okay fan like I am, you just get all the movies on a, on a small Blu-ray collection, and you're good to go. But if you really or want to if see... if you're a really casual fan like I am, you'll just get this one on whatever format you get it on yeah. and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess if you really want to see the blood and gore effects in all the detail you could possibly muster, hmm. I don't have that desire, but many do. It's uh, up here because Spiral is upcoming. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it is there. I think mm -hmm. we put it as a yes, please, mainly because of the importance of the film itself. Primarily, yes. I didn't put it up yes, please, because I love the film, but I acknowledge its importance, for better or worse. Yep. Hmm. And another film that for better or worse... Well, actually, no. I'm skipping ahead. Sorry. Another one that could be important <laughs> <laughs> that I heard about and I immediately declared I must see this is a romantic comedy for the senior crowd, which is called Senior Moment, hmm. which brings together William Shatner, Christopher Lloyd, and Gene Smart. You know, when I was listening to this on the radio, did you know William Shatner is 90? Wow. He's friggin' old. And then, he of doesn't course, look 90. Lloyd's like <laughs> three years older, I think. Something like that. Lloyd so, does look 90. <laughs> yeah. But the idea of Shatner and, and Lloyd starring together in a movie called Senior Moment, I'm there. So I'm curious. I'm strongly curious. And I think we agreed on that. Yep. <laughs> uh, there's a film called Tank. Mm -hmm. uh, this time I'll actually remember the that uh, James you Garner film. Ahead again. Uh, I'll come back to that okay, one. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, you know James Garner. I didn't forget James Garner at least. Oh, cool. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going. Where was I? And uh, <laughs> it's about a guy who, who fights the police with a tank, mm -hmm. essentially. And, uh, you know, that that's the most American thing I can mm -hmm. think of. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> but it's a curious. <laughs> yes, curious. But more American even than fighting with a tank is fighting the police with a hot rod engine. <laughs> That's what we got in Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> and, uh, well, fighting the police with a hot rod engine 
cowboy hat, mustache, and quippy <laughs> one-liners. There you go. <laughs> See, there's the one for mustache matinee. It, actually, yes. That would be a great <laughs> one for mustache matinee. <laughs> but, yeah, so we have the old Burt Reynolds classic, Smokey and the Bandit, packaged with the second two films, Smokey and the Bandit 2 and Smokey and the Bandit 3. Nice little thin pack. We mark that as a yes, please. <laughs> Not exactly the greatest films ever, but the first one in particular is pretty much a classic from that era. And, uh, I mean, it's one of the films that put Reynolds on the map as, like, the star of the of the time, you know? So, yep. yeah. And, uh, yeah, I agreed with yes, please, yeah. mainly for the first film. Right. Um... Uh, obviously, Jake put it up there because of the third film. Obviously. No, no, no. I put it up there as a nod to Mustache Matinee. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of uh, high-quality films, Shrek mm -hmm. is getting a 4K mm -hmm. release. And though I'm not sure Shrek needs necessarily a 4K, um, mm -hmm. I do feel like it is a high-quality movie and probably mm -hmm. should be owned in one form or another. Mm -hmm. Which is why it's a, a priority film. But if yes. you love Shrek... And you need to see all the detail of those mm -hmm. pixels. You can get it in 4K. It's mm -hmm. going to be available. That's a solid film. And we did agree on that. And then we also agreed on the next one that made the priority list. There are two Criterion films coming out this week. And one of them is a film that came out in the early 80s. So written by Cameron Crowe, directed by Amy Heckerling. And starring a who's who of what would become great 80s and 90s talent. You got uh, uh, um, Forrest Whitaker, Eric Stoltz, uh, Phoebe Cates, Jennifer Jason Lee, Judge Reinhold. And then, of course, uh, Sean Penn as Jeff Spicoli, the original surfer dude. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a good, good quality film. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I don't think I said that. I could be wrong, but <laughs> Fast Times at Ridgemont High getting its Criterion release. I do need to upgrade. I have a pretty bare bones edition of this, and yeah, I got uh, that DVD release. Yeah, and it is on my July pickup list. Uh, so it deserves priority in multiple ways because oh, this yeah. is one I'll be getting. Well, this one and Blue um, Velvet are like my top yeah. two that I'm going to be getting. Yeah, I still need to get that one. Um, so. The uh, last one I've got on here is The Yearling, which is a Gregory Peck film mm -hmm. and a double Oscar winner and a special mm -hmm. award winner uh, mm -hmm. at the Oscars. Uh, it is one that has been in my uh, earshot for a while. Mm -hmm. I think I have a version of it, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's the one that won the Oscars. Again, I mm -hmm. had to check on that one, mm -hmm. but I will probably get this one. It mm -hmm. will eventually be there. It is a yes, please. Mm-hmm. And then my last one that's new for us this week, uh, we've got one more we can end on, but this one is, uh, the other Criterion one is an old 1930s film starring Frederick March called Merrily We Go to Hell. To Hell. Which is all about the joys of marriage. And um, it's supposedly sort of a proto-feminist pro sort of proto film when people didn't even know what that was. And... Uh, <laughs> And uh, it's supposed to be quite good, quite ahead of its time. I think Criterion probably could have done a little better with this release, but I'm still looking forward to one day adding it to the mm -hmm. collection. We ended up settling on Curious for this one overall. All right. Well, uh, the other one that's in there, uh, we had one that was pushed back, The Reason I Jump. Mm -hmm. And we had originally said it was Curious that time. Mm -hmm. We're going to cover that. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be posting up right here. Mm -hmm. Um you can see how it ranks. Uh, we actually yep. had no meh. No meh. No. No hell no. It's just like no. pure on fairly good stuff this week. If we covered them all, we probably would hit a few, and we definitely yeah. would have hit some mess, but eh, whatever. Yeah, still. Some fun yeah. stuff. There was a Justice Society movie yeah. we didn't get, but you I'm know. I'm surprised we forget, skipped that one, but whatever. It, it happens. It happens. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hit mm -hmm. that like button. Hit that subscribe and hit that share. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you like this uh, mm -hmm. way we've been doing it here or the way we're starting to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you think this angle was better or was the last angle better? Mm -hmm. Camera number one. Mm 
-hmm. camera number two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. In any case, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.